Hello, let's do another sign language breakdown. We're going to be looking at a video called Goodwill Deaf Hero Finds $5,000 in Missing Cash. The video is courtesy of a website news organization called D-E-F-E-N-E-W-S. Deaf News! Call me if you need a jingle. I will be here all day long. Okay, so here we go. So A or 1, Deaf Work employee sometimes that means employee so i've seen working person mean employee but i think in shorthand i've seen in previous videos on on this website that they'll do this when they just mean employee and they do say employee in the captions down here feel free to read the captions i'm going to say the signs as i see them and interpret them as best as i can so it may not be exactly as it's being captioned but i want to give you the impression of how i'm interpreting it based on the signs that are being given out so looks like he's spelling g o O D W I L. Oh, okay, so Goodwill. Her name M A Q A Y L A. Next word, the slight shift in body language. So you see how, okay, uh, two things I want to highlight. When he spelled Goodwill, he's just like, you know, the the store g o o d w i l l her name by the way and he shifts his body language to show like hey uh <laughs> buckle up <laughs> it, this is this is going to be a name so look m a q uh huh a y l a. And for me personally, names are like the hardest things for me to try to understand. Because typically it's like, if your name isn't like Joe <laughs> or Sam, it's like, okay, M-G-H-E-R-G-G-R. -G -G -R. Is your name Gregory? Ooh, you spelled that wrong, boy. <laughs> but M-A-Q-A-Y-L-A. -A -A. Wow. Michaela. 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 Let's see if what we have for the last name. Slight shift in the body language in between the first name and the last name. Not necessary as long as there's just a pause, but he's doing it to emphasize that this is the different part of the name. So D E L A P E N. Oh, I'm sorry. P E N A. Right? Did I get that right? Let's back up. N A. Yeah. P E N A. Yeah. Pena. Pena. Pena? Pena? Uh, person. Good job. Good job. Wonderful. Applause. Hero. Hero person. So good job. That H E R O U. You're a hero. Why? Because, or why you. So I'm, I'm interpreting his use of why as a because. He says, you're a H E R O Y U found, and he's making the sign for found. Found a jacket that inside the front pocket had 5,000. Ooh, that's an interesting sign for money. This is a sign for. So money I know is this. You got there's a lot of different ways to sign money too. So you have money, you have paper money. You know, it's like I have a stack of papers. You got this for for like kind of cash. It's more crude. This is the more vulgar way of saying money. I don't know. It's just different ways of saying things. But this is the more like you you're not showing me any respect. <laughs> it's like where's my money? It's like I don't owe you anything. Why are you signing that? You gotta pay me. He's like no no no. Don't think that sign to me. Be respectful. And so he's making the sign for this, which uh, I feel like I've seen this before. Because if I was gonna sign cash, I'd just say S or C A S H, right? Like that's an easy four letter word to to sign out. But I feel like this is not so much money. This is more like bills or like stacks of bills or like, I don't know. I've not seen this a lot, very often. I'm not too familiar with this, but if I was going to say anything, it'd be like paper bills. If someone were to sign that to me, I would be like, what do you, what's, what's the sign mean? I'd have to ask them what that meant. But in the context of the situation, 
5,000 paper money or $5,000, maybe he's saying dollars. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look this up. ASL, dollars. Maybe that's a sign for dollars. Maybe this is a sign for dollars. Here we go. So as a, as a heads up, where I feel like I'm at with my ASL, I feel like I know enough signs to where the signs that I don't know, I can probably guess what they are based on context alone. And so I know this wasn't money and I know this wasn't cash because I know how to say money. I know how to say cash. This is money. This is cash or C-A-S-H. That's those are separate things. So what's another word that could be in between 5,000 or 5,000 in the next sentence or at the end of the word 5,000? Hmm? It's like 5,000 in paper money, $5,000 in cash, $5,000. Ah, it must be dollars. We looked it up. That is, in fact, the sign for dollars. Though it looks more like this, and I guess you can also do it from the top two. He does, looks like he goes for version two. Looks like he's opting for version two. Let's, so let's review. 5,000 <laughs> goes from the top. What was that? Version one or two? That's version one. <laughs> he's a version one guy. Okay, cool. And C A S H. Yeah, he, so he does say cash. Look, 5,000. Uh, dollars in C A S H though. Like some people are really fast with how they sign that. So like I would see that as cash, but C A S H is how he's doing it. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, that or, or kind of lost myself in the sentence. Let's back up just a wee bit. Okay. So wrong given or donate wrongly donated five thousand dollars that was wrongly donated found oh so that's a that's more that's that's not being translated down here in the captions but he's saying like so um if i were to interpret this so anyway like that was five thousand dollars in cash that was wrongly donated yeah she found it <laughs> She found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a little bit of extra parts to that sentence. Kind of cool. So anyway, uh, the daily moth is, I think this sign is how he says his organization as the daily moth. Daily moth. Let's see if there's a daily sign in there. So daily moth, maybe. Well, okay, there isn't a daily, but I'm assuming this is the moth. So like the moth the name of his group the name of his uh group is this right and i'm fine with that so moth person r e n a o o r e n a d e n n oh i'm sorry what's that name d u n n d u n n what what's the name again I, I said, guys, I told you, I'm, bad. I'm not good with names. But look how he's not as shifting as hard for when he does Michaela, because he, he's probably done this person's name a number of times. So at least he's more, from the body language, you can tell he's more familiar with this person that he's signing the name of than, okay, here's the M, <laughs> here's the A, and it goes a little weird from here. QA, we, we, we don't know what's going on. So let's see, R, E. Is best and that's a that's a lazy e but we'll we'll keep it e n a uh huh d rena d u n he says rena the caption says renka that is not the name i'm seeing up here let's let's just let's just double check and then we'll move on so so uh the daily moth person or a reporter from daily moth whose name is r e n Oh, maybe that was the CA. Maybe I'm just going too slow. R E N C A. Oh no, that was it. It's just Renka. Her name's Renka. I thought the, oh jeez. D U N N. Renka is the name. A lot of a lot of cool names here. She reached out. She reached out to do an interview. And I'll show you bits, clips, 
uh, from that Goodwill store in F W Texas area. So as a heads up, a lot of people say, you know, why isn't ASL universal language, right? Like why is it is why isn't the way how ASL is signed like the the way how everybody signs ASL? And you can tell from the way that ASL is normally done is there is a lot of spelling in involved. And not only that, but a lot of words in ASL have come from just fast ways of how we spell things. So like C A S H, uh, that's just like cash. Like a lot of people won't take their time to spell that out. N E W S, that's just news now. Like that's just a the the sign for it now. Uh, um, in this conversation alone, Goodwill was spelt out. Uh, a lot of different names. Fort Worth, Texas, like X. I don't know why Texas is like this. Don't ask me why. But like. <laughs> I guess X. I, I don't, don't ask me why, but states are weird. But like, there's so many things that are tied to the English alphabet that if you sign in Spanish sign language, or if you sign in like Mexican sign language, or even Canadian sign language, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. They use ASL. Uh, British sign language, which has a completely different spelling or uh, a letter alphabet system. These things don't transfer over, and. That's why it's not universal, because I can't spell something in English and expect you, if you know Japanese sign language, to be able to understand me. Or even though we both maybe speak English, uh, the signing systems are dependent on completely different things. And that's the, the that's one of the main reasons why it, there's no universal sign language, because um, spelling is a big component, at least in ASL. And so, yeah, yeah, it's a thing. All right, so let's go to the, the next part of the video. So this is Renica, Renka, Renka Dunn, Renka Dunn, okay? And Michaela, <laughs> they have weird names. They have nice names. They're beautiful people. They got very interesting names. Renka Dunn, I'm sure. And she's one of my favorite signers on, on, the, on, the, on the news station. And let's see what's going on here. So what do you do, you? Go on ahead. What do you? Go for it. Like, what, uh, what do you do? Tell me about, tell me what was going on with what you were doing. Uh, general, do you what? Or like, what happened? That works too. So there were two people, uh, married, m married, two people, them, Loss. Oh, no, I can't see her hands. Money. She says money, like the way how I say money. So they lost money. They lost their money. I can't see all the signs because her hands get out of frame. In donating, 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 wrongly. They wrongly donated or they accidentally donated a bunch of money or they donated stuff that had clothes that had the money in it. And that... <laughs> And the, <laughs> I'm sorry. I look every single time I look away, I lose myself where where I am in the conversation. Okay, so let's just back up a wee bit. All right. So those two, a couple, a t couple who are married, a married couple. Yeah, they they're a married man and a married woman. I think uh, they came in. They lost their money. Their their money. Yeah, in. A donation that was accidental or wrong a donation uh, accidental donation for a close right that that was a while back that was I can and that cut didn't quite get that sentence but that's fine she signs February FEB it was a lot of snow a lot of snow and Ugh, me no. Store sh cl shut down, closed. So the s nothing uh, or, or sh not allowed. Sometimes I've seen people say like, so it snowed. <laughs> a lot of snow, a snowstorm. And for me, no, but I don't know generally what she means by no. So she could be like, I don't like that. I don't like snow. Or she could be like, 
uh, the store was closed, I think is what she says. The store, because it says in the captions, so I'm looking for this sign, store, and then maybe closed. We'll see. So something got canceled. So canceled, store, no, closed. Okay, well, this, all the stores were closed. No stores were open. Uh, and then when the stores opened, I went through stuff, started rummaging, started rummaging, and I found it. <laughs> I found it. Okay, cool. A big old stack of 100, 100, 100. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so she's signing. She found a big old stack of money, right? This is another way to do money. This is even more crude than this. <laughs> So you got a lot of different money lessons in this video. You got this, you got, oh, where's my money at? I want my cash. Give me those dollar bills. I want a big old stack of 100s, 100s, 100s. So actually you say 100 in sign language is 1C because it's sort of weirdly metric for some reason. So centi is like 100, like centimeters, 100 millimeters. So like centi, one cent or one centi. When I say cent, I mean C-E-N-T, which is probably how cents are spelled anyway. Cent, C is 100. But she's saying 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, right? So it's more of the uh, cooler way of saying 100, right? Look how she's saying 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. Yeah, she's saying 100, oh, I'm sorry, one. <sighs> 100 100 she's closing it down 100 zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. okay so uh young kids sign differently than um even people in my generation i'm only like in my 30s so it's cool it's cool it's a cool way of signing 100 um i've seen one zero zero like if i had to do that I, I that was probably as cool as I would get, but she's going like 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. By the way, who carries a jacket full of hundred dollar bills up to five thousand dollars to Goodwill to donate to miss it to to accidentally donate that? Like something's weird with this story, man. Something as a, I'm not a detective, but I would be really suspicious of everything that's going on there. Anyway, moving on. Oh, she doesn't speak sign language. Let's see. Oh, they spelled they even misspelled her name, but I bet you that's how she says it. <laughs> I mean in a nice way. Yes, Michaela. Well, I mean, and she said, "I found it. I found it." She looks like a nice boss who would probably mispronounce your name regardless. But it's also a nice person regardless. So, yeah. Moving on. So, uh... So she is using... I can't see anything that's going on in this. So, the it feels like the frame rate dropped down to like 12. And I can't see anything that she's signing in this box except for this hand that's coming in and out of frame. Sorry, guys. Let me try my best. Uh, so, yeah, dude, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, but I do like the, the, the facials that are coming on on this side, it's just like, wow, I can't believe that. If you're ever in a position where you are talking to someone that is, um, signing to you, and you genuinely do agree with what they're saying or like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. That's a great sign. That's a great sign I put in my pocket. It's like, whoa, really? Look at look at the facials. But don't just do the hand sign. You gotta do the face along with it. She has great facials. Okay. And I just can't see what's going on in this box. It's too, it's too cut. There, I, now I can see again. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, finished, finished. I felt like when I found the money, so I felt like when I found the money, okay, then to impress, or she wants to, that's what it was, 
spent money, then I want to impress. Okay, so it's very, very, very it's fast in there. I then I want to impress. So then I want. So she says then I or me, but it's I in this case. You can do both. It's, they both the words mean both. The sign means both of those words. So then I want to, and she does two like this impress and sometimes people don't sign the two you don't have to sign the two it's not a big idea or a big deal to sign the two but like i said kids are signing different from how adults sign and in adult schools where you might learn asl you'll learn the very formal textbook version of asl which is likely outdated but also a formal way of how you have conversations with people in sign language right but they'll be like uh, where is Timmy's paper or money? Where's his money? But if you talk to kids maybe or people out of class, it'd be like, where's, where's my cash, Timmy? Where's my cash, Timmy? Where's my stack of bills? I want my hundies. <laughs> so along with that, uh, ASL is a culture. It's a cha- uh, ASL is a language that belongs to a culture. Cultures evolve. Cultures change. They get bigger. Cultures exist to be shared with people, not you know, sequestered and protected, but they're meant to, to absorb new things and change and become better and, 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 and constantly develop and, and, and move things out and move new things in. And one of the things that are being absorbed by ASL is a lot of, uh, English grammar. Um, a lot of people who only sign, uh, since there's no writing system in ASL, they can sign and write in, in perfect grammatical English. And so when they sign, the the two systems merge a little bit into each other. And so you get words like to or that or uh, uh, at, at, and stuff like that. They, they, there's conventions that have come in ASL that mean those things. And so while some people may complain, it's like, hey, man, that's ASL. That's not supposed to be in this language. It's like, dude, languages are going to change faster than you have any capability of trying to keep them as like one thing. And so it's kind of cool to see like young generation developing like just this easygoing signing style where it's like incorporating a lot of ASL along with like cool what I considered originally like, am I allowed to say this? Am I allowed to say this? It's like, no, I I got even worse things to say than that. (laughs) Bills, baby. Uh, And and stuff like that. It's just cool to see how fast it's developing. Um, yeah, you don't get to see kids sign in this capacity, so it's kind of cool. Anyway, so that deaf can honesty honor uh, deaf can be deaf people can be honest. All those people deaf, all those people think that deaf people can't be honest. Okay, so I might have to work my way back a little bit so I can show you the signs by signs. So man, when that was all done, I felt, I felt, uh, when I found the money, she says, when I found the, the money, I want to impress that my, I can, that deaf people can be honest, that deaf people can be honest. All those people think deaf can't be honest yeah and you see how there's no need for the word saying b b e in honesty so there's the mix between the two asl doesn't have words like like b and then into like the the words like honest you just say honest and so sometimes she'll say two sometimes she doesn't say two sometimes she says be honest some or only in this video is she saying honest and skipping b but it's cool that it's like it's bouncing between the two uh, between like strict hardcore formal ASL and then like this more relaxed fun way also really great facials too we can be honest yeah I'm not taking it <laughs> I gave it Ah uh, man I don't know I gave it and I can't see the hands and it's cut off. 
I'm trying to see if I'm seeing like I gave it to my boss. Do I see the word boss in here? Ooh. I don't know how you say boss. I know you'd say things like governor or president, ASL, boss. How do you say boss? Oh, that's how you say boss. You tap your shoulder? Huh. Okay. Well, that's a new word for me. Boss, boss. Okay. So then if this means boss, let's see how the word or the signs proceeding into it lead. So I ain't going to take that. No, no, me? Nah. I gave it to my boss. That's what she says. Yeah. Who I am. A-M. Okay, so let's see how, let's do that whole breakdown of that sentence. No, we can be honest. I'm not going to take that money. So she's basically doing a face like, right? Like, I'm not going to take that money. No, 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 no. I'm going to give it to my boss that's who I am that's who I am I'm gonna give it to my boss who I am cool alright so now we go back to Renka after that after that uh, them or it he she Goodwill. After that, Goodwill award you. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't see that before. So this is the sign for... What's my time? How far am I? I'm already ha almost nearly half hour into this, guys. Sorry about this. Uh, this is the sign for award, right? Award. But she's moving it towards someone in the sense that it's awarding someone. So I think that's cool. I've never seen that before. So that's how you can say award, award to award someone. I thought award was like a, like, I didn't know you can turn this into a verb. So this is the sign for award. Hey, I have an award. But to award someone something turns that, what I thought was a noun, into a verb. It's kind of cool. Awarded you, Goodwill awarded you a check. A check. No. She's correcting. No, no, no. I got a medal. No. Oh, I see. You got a medal. And then <laughs> I got a check. <laughs> First, you got a medal. Oh, that's a funny. That's a funny little. That's a, isn't that a conversation that you have with a kid? It's like, hey, didn't Goodwill give you a check? No, no, no. They gave me a medal. Oh, I'm sorry. They gave you a medal. Right. Then they gave me a check. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I love it. It says so much about the mindset. Of Michaela is just like no 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 they didn't give me a check they gave me a medal then they gave me a check whereas like from Renka's point of view it's like they gave you money because you found money and that's that is what a big company should be able to do for you but like she is not she's so past the money that she's just like no I got a medal first because they wanted to like recognize that I did a nice thing and then they gave me a check I don't know what happened about that but yeah they gave me money afterwards it's like it's really cool it's really cool like she has my mindset she's like adult thinking you lost money you found it you should get some of that money you should, or goodwill should pay you some money and then she's like no nah, i didn't care about the money dude i was only about the you know just being able to just show that you know that people can can be good it's like i know that too but baby girl you need some money <laughs> did you get a check no i got a medal oh okay well and then i got a check oh okay yeah then we're all good then we're all on the same page <laughs> awarded you uh-huh a check no I got a medal she says no I got a, a, a metal medal ah this is the sign for metal does that make sense this is the sign for metal metal I got a metal medal I got a metal medal for all my English uh, uh, folks oh I see you got a medal now uh, yeah and then I got a check <laughs> And he probably missed the part where Renka's like, okay, okay, great. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the check. Can I see how big this check is? I may have to look this up later. Uh, I might look it up later on. How much would you expect her to get for this? I know it's a very tacky thing for me to ask, you know, this far into the video. I would hope it was at least like 500 bucks. At least. 
Goodwill, I know you can dish that out. If it was like for a hundred bucks, I'd be like, dude, nah. Oh, there's the metal, by the way. Five hundred, I'd be like, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's like a full on paycheck. That's not bad, you know. That's I take that. Anyway, oh look at her. She's trying to say thank you, but no one's looking at her. That is a classical problem with deaf people. So typically, you have to get people's attention first. So first, get the people's attention, then you sign. Classic move. Look, and there's different ways of how you get people's attention. You got to show your body language intent to, to sign. And there's typically also another thing called uh, lean in, lean back, where it's like, hey, I'm not going to sign right now. But I am going to sign, like, say, pretend I'm talking to a person and we're, we're right in front of each other and we're signing back and forth. If I'm done talking, I'm going to lean back. But if I'm getting ready to sign to say, hey, I'm about to start talking to you, I'm going to lean forward. And then that person's going to lean back. And so, like, there's this cease, uh, push pull is what it's called. Push pull uh, motion of like, hey, I'm getting ready to talk. Now I'm talking. I'm getting ready to stop talking. Go ahead and you talk. OK, cool. I'm done talking. Now you talk. And, and that's how uh, the body language goes for it. So when she so when this lady gets ready to sign and no one's looking at her, she makes no indication that, hey, I'm, I'd, I'd like to, to say something or sign to you in ASL. She's just getting ready to dish out the, the thank you sign. But when Michaela gets ready to sign, look how she gets all into it. She makes this really, really obvious shoulder move, right? And she starts doing lean back push pull or uh, or like leaning, leaning back forward into the conversation. There we go. Thank you. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Man, not really everyone sees this person, <laughs> even though she was the first person to initiate the sign and they cut her off, too. That's so sad. Even though she was the first person to initiate the sign, she gave no indication of body language that she was getting ready to speak. And that is an important thing to note, even if you are an English speaker, even if you're talking with your mouth, make some indication that you are about to begin, whether it's like breathing in, raising your hand, or starting with the joke, or like leaning, leading into the conversation. Like, oh yeah, you know what? I actually heard about something like that yesterday. You see, like, or yeah, my mom has always told me something that I thought was really important and that's a great way to frame people to start paying attention to you as you get ready to say the thing that you really do want to say or hey I don't want to uh, can I repeat what you had just told me like or hey that's a really good idea actually I thought about blah 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 so many different ways you can do it with words but throw some body language in there too I like to use my hands and and just show that I am interested in what's being said and get a little bit more animated, get everyone's attention pulled in towards me, and then I start talking. That's the best way to do it. Anyway, let's follow up. Let's follow up. She's trying to say thank you here. Okay, so I feel proud, right? I, oh, wow, I wow. I'm just like, that never had me before. I feel wow <laughs> she's cute <laughs> excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me she talks like you would expect okay so i just feel so proud you know i feel proud right i feel like wow i oh my gosh like i never had that before right i'm just feel Wow, <laughs> I'm, I'm young and I'm young plus, I'm young plus I can, I'm young and, I'm young and I can uh, do that, show everybody that I'm deaf, I'm um that's who deaf or uh, that's a different sign that I am deaf so I'm looking at the caption and it says that's who I am but uh, I don't even think it's a but I think that is basically what she's saying that I'm deaf me I mean that's who I am deaf 
that's it. So there's a thing in sign language called non-manual signs where it's like the sign doesn't sign for sign mean a word in English. It's more of like the gesture means a bunch of different things. So like when she was like, I'm not going to steal it. Like, I'm not going to put that in my pocket and walk away with it. This just means put in your pocket. And this is like, no, but like the context of the situation defines what it means in English. Right. And so I think when she's just like deaf, you know, deaf, right? Like that's who I am. I'm a deaf person. I want to show people that we're honest and I just feel proud. This has never happened to me. I'm young. I just want to show people I'm young. I'm deaf. That's who I am. I'm out here, baby. <laughs> I'm out here. That's what it is. Very good job. Lots of respect. Wonderful. Can't see the hands. Uh, I follow your show, show, example. Follow your example, show, show, show. And if they find something, oh, face, uh, give it, give to, uh, do, give to the right owner person, give to the right, give, give it to the right owner. Let's just give it to the rightful owner. Yeah, that works. That works. If you find something, you know, just give it, give it to the rightful owning person. Yes. Look at that face. Look at that face. I'm like, yeah, just give it to the rightful owner person. Right. And she's like, yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Also, or like, I agree. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Not a problem. Thank you. Okay. Fantastic. Let me look at what she was saying while she was signing. So while Renka is signing this, she says, yes, yes. I hope. Oh, I hope, I hope this is a uh, completely non-standard, non-textbook ASL. So like, I hope, cause I hope, right? I hope that's the way you typically sign ASL for hope. Uh, ASL hope looks like this. Hope. Yeah. And in previous videos, when we're doing the daily moth video of the lady who was like, it, uh, making a video game or uh, animation and she's like I hope I hope you know we can grow our audience right like grow our audience right but she said hope and now she a little bit younger says hope right it's a stylistic difference of the same word and the distinction here is that this is totally non-standard this is how a person who doesn't sing in English or sign in ASL would say hope. It's like, yeah, I hope though. I hope this happens. So it's sort of like a non-manual dis uh, uh, descriptor sign for hope, right? And she's using it as a way how she would normally talk with a person who is fluent in ASL. And she is fluent in ASL. It's just cool to see the stylistical choice of the non-formal way of communicating between two people who are both fluent in ASL just pulling and grabbing things from different cultures and infusing it into their language. That is a beautiful thing. Okay. So, uh, give it, give to the rightful owning person, own person, the owner, the rightful owner. And I love that face, Ranka. That's so great. That's so great. Exactly. Right. Or like also, also to, I see it. I see you eye to eye. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your, uh, time. Uh, thank you so much. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. That quirks. No, she's saying fantastic. Great. Doesn't have to mean fantastic. She's like, okay. Okay. This line could also mean, okay, is what I'm saying. I'm now talking just to myself. Isn't that great? All right, let's move on. Wonderful story. Wonderful remarks. Wonderful remarks. I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna verify one thing. Remarks. Ooh, sentences. Sentences is this. This is how you say sentences. So how do you say story? Story. Story. I feel like it should be this. Yeah. Yeah, I knew my spidey sense was up. 
<laughs> but you can also do this, which is totally fine too. Let me see. What's the difference between the two? Okay, it's just a variation. So I have seen this way more often than I've seen this. When I see this, I hear sentence or grammar, right? I'm thinking like, or she made a comment. She made a comment, like a very, very short thing. Or he made a remark um, about blah, 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 blah. But uh, it's a short story. A short story could be like this. A short story could be like this. So it's a variation. I love it. We proud. We proud. OFU. Look how he says it. We proud. OFU. M. A. Q. A. Y. L. A. We're proud of you, Michaela. Okay. Cool. And that's the end of the video. Uh, quick takeaways. Man, that was a while. Uh, these are going to be long videos. <laughs> Deal with it. Uh, also, subscribe to this channel. It's a good channel. Um, that was a cool, cute video. That Michaela reminded me. Now, here's the here's the gamble. We're, we're pretty far into this video, but I want to look this up. This is called Ugly Betty. This is not a bad. Okay, let me, let me back up. Betty La Fea. When I was in California, there was a show called Betty La Fea that Yo Soy Betty La Fea. I don't know if I can click images on this because there we go. Okay. First of all, you can't take what is generally a cute girl and put her in thick glasses and pretend like she's not a cute girl anymore, right? But that is what the show, that is basically the premise of the show. It's the same thing that they did with uh, Princess Jellyfish. Princess Jellyfish. And you'll see where I'm going with this. I know it's a little bit of a tangent. There's a show called Princess Jellyfish. Same concept. Take a pretty girl, but have her in thick glasses and be like, man, I'm so ugly. I don't know how I can ever be pretty. This is like, just take off your glasses. You, you're obviously, you're obviously doing something. <laughs> So anyway, in America, they took uh, Betty La Fea and rebooted it, and they called it Ugly Betty. Betty La Fea and Ugly Betty mean the same thing, by the way. Uh, uh, let's let's take a risk. Yeah, yeah. Look, they took a really pretty girl and they just put her in weird glasses. They're like, now she's ugly, and I'm like, okay, one. <laughs> No, that's not true. That's not how it works, Hollywood. <laughs> but two, it it I feel like it's it uh normalized the style, right? Cuz it's just it is a it's it's a it's a it's a how do I put this? It was like when uh Family Matters came out and then it brought back suspenders. I don't know if you guys were alive for that. Suspenders. Family Sometimes shows do things that I feel bring back the cool. Like if there was a cool, if there was a kid in 2021 who went to school dressed like this, that would be the coolest kid in school. <laughs> Let me be straight up with you, man. This, this back then was like nerd, but this right now would be like, holy crap, this kid might be like the coolest kid in school. Like straight up, look at that. Look at the high rise phase right here. Look at the cardigan thing he's got going on. He's got the pick and welts. He's got the socks. He's got the whatever you want to call these shoes, man. This kid's got style and everyone else is wearing clothes their moms brought, bought for them at like, you know, Sears or whatever. And this kid's like rocking suspenders and stuff. Get out of town, kid. That kid's got style. So what I'm saying is basically uh, this lady, uh, uh, through the zeitgeist of shows that she probably wasn't even alive for when it came out, has absorbed a very cute aesthetic that I feel has been normalized through pioneering shows well beyond her time. And so thank you very much, TV shows uh, from way back in the day for making things like that happen. All right, guys, that's it. Have a good time. Hope you learned some things.